I am Cinnamon Crow, and uh, I am a divine being, and so are you. How many of you know that you are the divine made manifest in physical form? Yeah, a few of you? It took me many years to come to that truth and accept that as my own, you know, and I can still get so caught up in my day today, you know, the family, the children, the work, the writing, that I can forget this simple life-changing truth. And so I have to remind myself on a regular basis that I am a divine being. So before we get started, I want all of you to say with me, say it after me. I am a divine being. And so are you. Good. Now I want you to tell the people sitting next to you. <laughs> okay, so now when you see each other in the corridors out there or when you pass me, you see me at breakfast or something, remind me of that. Come up and say, I am a divine being and so are you. Okay? To help us remember who we really are and what we really are. And I've got to kick off my shoes here. I hope nobody minds. <laughs> now, I was brought up Southern Baptist. And I learned from a very young age, you know, I had the white light, uh, burning bush experiences with God and with my angels and guides. And so I knew from a very young age that there was a lot more than what I was being taught. So it wasn't until I was in my early 20s that I began to, to seek and search out that something more. And so what I started with was the chakras. That was one of the first things I started studying. And I was told in the beginning that there were seven chakras and that these seven chakras are a complete system, okay? It's also taught to ground by sitting in a chair with my feet, you know, flat on the floor, hands out, open the seven chakras and visualize a grounding cord coming out of my root and anchoring myself to the middle you know, the center of the earth. And I see several people out here, you know, nodding your heads. That's the way you were taught to ground. Um, that didn't work for me. You know, it didn't allow my energy to flow completely through my body. And I'm a Pisces. And so I'm up in the ethers most of the time anyway. So I really have to be grounded in order to function to the day-to-day -day things. And um, so I had a friend suggest to me a different way to ground. And it was to you know, stand barefoot, which is how I like to be anyway, hands up in the air, and imagine myself as a tree with roots growing out of my feet and anchoring me into the earth. And this form of grounding worked so much better for me because it allowed my energy to flow completely through my body into the earth and bring earth energy back up, okay? And this worked until about eight years ago. And when the shift really got intense and the energies, the new energies were really hitting the earth in earnest, even this method of grounding wasn't working for me anymore. And so I had to start seeking and searching for some solutions. Um, there, were, there were times during that time period, especially around the full moon, that three days before and the three days after the full moon, that I would be so amped up. I'd have so much energy running through my body that I knew if I could figure out how to channel that energy that I could zap someone jogging across the street. I could just give them a little jolt. Not that I would, okay, but I thought that I could because I had so much running through me. And I was trying to work as an accountant in corporate America. And so, you know, I'm not getting any sleep on the full moon. If I get three or four hours a night during that week, I was doing good. So with no sleep and all this energy, I wasn't good for anything. So I was forced to start seeking out a solution. And I started by going back right, right in the beginning where I started, going back through the chakras. And what I found this time was that there are a lot more than seven chakras. There are a lot more, and they are, they're called minor chakras. And I want to tell you right now, before I go any further, these are not minor chakras, okay? I have worked intensively with these chakras, and all of these that I'm going to talk to you about today, with the exception of the soul star, are all included in my chakra zodiac healing oracle deck. 
So with that deck, you'll be able to study a little bit more and work with some of these other chakras. So since I was seeking a, a new form of grounding, the first chakra I decided to work with was the foot chakra, okay? We have an energy center on the soles of each foot, and together it makes one complete chakra. So that tree method of grounding that I was doing worked so much better for me because I was unknowingly engaging my foot chakra, okay? Now if the foot isn't open, it's gonna cause energy to, to build up in the body, and it can cause the upper chakras, the seven chakras, to actually rip and leak. So this is a very, this is not a minor chakra, this is a very essential chakra to maximum health here. Now the first few times that I consciously opened up my foot chakra, it felt like someone was pouring water down my legs. I had so much backed up energy in my body. And it would release for a time, and then it would feel like it was backing up in my legs again. And I started having foot and leg pain, and, and I wasn't getting grounded still, so I had to continue you know, studying some of these other chakras. And the next one I looked at was the Earth Star. Now, have any of y'all ever heard of the Earth Star chakra? Anyone know? This is one of the out-of-body or transpersonal chakras. It is three feet below you in the ground. Okay, this is one of the most fascinating chakras to me and I have to be real careful that I keep this brief because I could talk to you all afternoon on the Earth Star Chakra. This is uh, the, the chakra that actually holds your grounding cord because it's in the earth. So when I learned how to visualize that grounding cord from the Earth Star and connect that into the center of the earth, then I could get grounded. And all of that energy from my upper chakras and the legs was able to be released into the earth where it belonged, okay? Now, this is the chakra that grounds you into the here and now. Now, I had a lady this morning that was working at the registration desk. She said, Cinnamon, you know, I'm here physically, but I'm just not really all here right now. And that is an earth star issue. That is not being grounded from the earth star. And I'm like that most times if I don't ground from there. So this is your anchor to, to Mother Earth and this is what keeps you planted in the physical realm, okay? Now, some of the fascinating things about this chakra, before we incarnate, we all have a, a plan, a life purpose or, or a intent for this incarnation and, we, and that's called your life path and that is stored in the Earth Star Chakra. It also holds all the various roads that you can take to accomplish that life path. It holds your current incarnation's ancestry and race history. It holds all of your past life and karmic issues. It holds uh, family diseases and family secrets. So it holds a lot of past stuff in here. Now, in my experience as a healer and working with other people, diseases such as cancer come from three main causes. The first is a soul will decide to write that into their life path for the experience of it. Now I have two girlfriends that at the age of 30, 32, they both had breast cancer and they both went into remission. And so now their life purpose is to bring awareness to the cure. They don't fight the disease, they're embracing the cure. It's opposite, it's different vibrations. And they're bringing awareness to the positive side of that. That is their life purpose. So a soul could write cancer into their life path for the experience. Maybe for that, maybe that's how they choose to exit, okay? The second reason that I can get cancer is, let's say all of the women in my family get cancer by age 50, okay? So here I am in my 20s and 30s and 40s, and I'm telling anyone who's going to listen, you know, all the women in my family get cancer, and I'm just biding my time. You know, it's my lot. I know it's going to happen to me. We all know people like this. I am going to manifest that disease, whether it was in my life plan or not, because of my belief. I'm going to physically create that through my belief, 